Hi boys and girls, auntie and uncle, welcome back to my channel. My name is CK and my channel is Psychology, where I bring my viewers around the world to see and explore. You have seen me in Thompson Nature Park and also Rifle Range Park. I really, really like parks and gardens. Today, I am at the creme de la creme of all gardens and all the parks here in Singapore. This is the Singapore Botanical Garden. Isn't this beautiful? The Singapore Botanical Garden is more than 164 years old. This is Singapore's one and only UNESCO World Heritage Site. Singapore Botanical Garden is the most beautiful garden I have ever been in my life. Truthfully, inside the compound of this botanical garden lies some of the most iconic plants and building here in Singapore. This place is full of history and I'm going to show you the whole of Botanical Garden of Singapore and show you some of the places of interest in this garden. Now before I do that, here is a little bit of the history of Singapore's Botanical Garden. The first botanical and experimental garden in Singapore was established in 1822 on Government Hill by Sir Stanford Raffle, the founder of modern Singapore and a keen naturalist. The garden's main task was to evaluate cultivation crops which were of potential economic importance, including those yielding fruits, vegetables, spices, and other raw material. This first garden closed. In 1829. It was not until 30 years later that the present Singapore Botanic Gardens began in 1859 when the Singapore Agri Horticultural Society was granted 32 acres of land in Tangling by the colonial government, which had obtained it from the merchant Hu Ak. The new garden started off functioning primarily as a pleasure park for the society's members. Lawrence Niven was hired as superintendent and landscape designer to turn turn what were essentially overgrown plantations and a tangle of virgin rainforest into a public park. During the Japanese occupation of Singapore in World War II, Hidetsu Tanakadate, a professor of geology, learned of the possibility that the gardens and the museum might be looted due to its occupation and negotiated directly with General Tomoyoki Yamashita to gain control of the Singapore Botanic Gardens and the Raffles Museum. At the beginning of the occupation, he ensured that no looting occurred in the gardens and the museum. In 1986, the Singapore Botanic Gardens was put under the charge of the National Parks Board. The garden was revitalized with new and improved public amenities, research facilities, and training facilities beginning in the 1990s. Today, the garden is home to more than 10,000 species of flora and spread over its 82 acres area. Okay, hey, so here we are at the Tangling Gate. This is where I'm gonna begin my journey here at Singapore's Botanical Garden. And we're gonna walk through some of the most iconic places in Singapore's Botanical Garden and walk right all the way up to the MRT station here at the Botanical Garden. So most people would start their journey here but I instead chose the Tangling Gate and moved my way up across the Botanical Garden. So Now, fun fact number one of Singapore's botanical garden is that this used to be a zoo. There was not many entertaining options back then, about 160 years ago in Singapore. So this used to be a zoo where they actually have tigers and lions and they have a deer en uh, enclosement. So there used to be deers here, also a monkey. Uh, display in the Singapore Botanical Garden. So this place used to be 
a zoo and unfortunately the maintenance cost of the zoo was very high so the zoo actually closed down in 1906 all you can see now is a couple of swan here at swan lake here at the singapore botanical garden it's absolutely gorgeous this is this lake is absolute and look at the the statue of the swan here in swan lake it's very dramatic taking flight Now, fun fact number two, as I told you, within the compound of Singapore's botanical garden lies many iconic plants and buildings. And none more iconic than the tree behind me. This is the Tembusu tree. Now, this tree is over 170 years old, they say. A little bit older than Singapore's botanical garden itself. It's been fenced off because when they found the tree a few years ago the tree was actually dying and people would sit on the trunks and climbed it and so they had to fence it off so once they did that the tree started coming back to life and at the moment it is really really flourishing uh, full of life at the moment now this tree is very symbolic for the people of singapore because if you look behind I know some of you still use cash and you look behind the cash of the five dollar bills of Singapore you will find this tree as the five dollar bill here in the Singapore dollar so this tree means a lot for the country and it's now I guess the national treasure for Singapore So unlike any other gardens and parks that I know, Singapore Botanical Garden actually has a lot of eatery options, a lot of restaurants and even a hawker center here. And I am at Bee's Knees. Bee's Knees, this is the place where my friend recommended me for brunch and breakfast. And I have ordered salmon bagel and ham bagel. Look at my bagel, they're absolutely gorgeous and i must say the coffee here is really really good ah, excelente so i'm gonna finish these bagels and we're gonna continue our journey here at singapore's botanical garden now behind me is burkill hall this is a very historical building in Singapore. This hall or this mansion used to be the resident for the director of the Singapore's Botanical Garden built 1867-1868. This style of Anglo-Malay plantation mansion is found nowhere else but here at Burkill Hall. This is the last surviving architect of its type. There are rooms upstairs, function rooms downstairs. Now the specialty about this building is of course the entrance with a huge veranda upstairs which is really covering the entrance of this building. Again, very very special, very historical. A lot of special function happens here at this hall. They rent it out for wedding and special function now today. It's just one of the most gorgeous hall, mansion of its type here in Southeast Asia. So fun fact number four, now this is a sad fun fact. This may look like a normal brick steps to you, but it's actually called the prisoner of war brick steps. And why it is called that, on these brick step you will find arrow sign on these brick step and it was made by the Australian prisoner of war during World War II and to mark their defiance as prisoner of wars they actually marked the brick 
with the arrow signed in act of defiance at the time. Now this was only discovered very recently when the actual prisoner of war Australian troop visited the site and they were asked to see these marking that they made back then in World War II. So there was a, like a recent discovery, but nevertheless very historical and now they call it the Brick Step, Prisoner of War Brick Steps. Orchid is the national flower of Singapore and here in Singapore's Botanical Garden they have the largest collections of orchid anywhere in the world. Here, I think they collected more than thousands of species of orchids and you can see them here at the Orchid Garden if you pay, I think, $15 for the entrance. But if you have employment pass or if you're a senior citizen or if you're a resident of Singapore, then it's a $5 entry pass. But this is not to be missed. My last stop here at Botanical Garden of Singapore is the Sam Court Cool House where they house some of the most exotic orchids here in the Botanical Garden. They look like Japanese geisha smiling at you. Look at this. It looks like a it's look like a little looks like a little angel sitting on top of a lotus leaf. This is now blue blue flowers are very very rare in nature. I mean the color of blue is very very rare and God, this one looks like um, I don't know, looks like a bee it's absolutely gorgeous I don't know if the camera does justice it's glowingly pale yellow with this very red velvet in between it, it looks like you know come and kiss me come and kiss me that kind of now this is a huge orchid I mean look the size of my hand it's almost the entire size of my palm and look at how beautiful it is. It's kind of maroon red, I think. And look at the heart of the orchid. Absolutely amazing and really, really mesmerized. Mesmerizing me. Now this one looks like a rose, but it is actually an orchid. And the fun fact about orchids are they are shaped this way so that they can trap insects coming into the bloom. And look at that. Now this is a gorgeous color, pale, pale, pale pink with a little bit of a dark red. These color combination only nature can make. What can I say? This is Singapore's one and only UNESCO World Heritage Site. And I must say, this, is, this really is the number one place. Everyone should come when they visit Singapore to experience the tropical and to see all these amazing plants, flora here in this garden. It's truly an experience. I am here with my friends for a very nice picnic and I'm gonna enjoy my picnic here today at Botanical Garden and someone bought dim sum which I'm really going to enjoy so you can support me buy me a coffee go to buymeacoffee.com and if you want videos of Singapore you can click them right here somebody brought nice wines and dim sum so I'm gonna enjoy it again goodbye until my next video goodbye from Botanic Gardens of Singapore cheers